First we had the two wheel smart balance scooter and now we have what's called the one wheel smart balance scooter. I just got mine today. I get it from Amazon. I got an affiliate link in the description. So let's open this box up and see what comes with this package. Okay. Got some type of certificate here. We have the charger, very similar to the same charger used for the two wheel smart balance scooter. We have a strap and I, I'm thinking this is the training strap that comes with it. Take this out. And here it is. Here's the unit itself. So, as you can see, this literally is well, one wheel. Where you put your feet, you have your controls right here. And so, you've got a, a much bigger tire, an actual uh, air inflated tire, than you do on the two wheel. So, that's pretty much everything that came in this box. So now we have to charge this thing up and go take it for a test ride. All right, let me tell you a little about this uh, one wheel self-balanced scooter. Like the main brand name that puts these out is a brand called Airwheel. And what I got here from Amazon was one of the generic brands. And let me tell you why. The Airwheel, they go for about seven to $800 a piece. And the beauty of these generics is I literally got this one for $350 with free shipping, no taxes. And I'm willing to bet, I mean, they look identical, except for the fact that they just don't have the Airwheel logo on there. But other than that, they look identical. They have the same specs as the Airwheel does. And so let me go, let me go over what they are. These single wheels, they come in four different models. There's X3, X5, X6 and X8. Now this, what I bought, is an X3. So the only difference between the models is that some come with training wheels, some would, and this one didn't, some come with the training belt, which is, this one did, and some have Bluetooth speakers. Other than that, everything else regarding the specs are exactly the same. Now they also have a dual wheel models, they're called Q1 and Q3, and so, so basically it has two wheels right next to each other and the, the, they, they cost about $100 more and the benefit of those is they're easier to ride and learn on. They go a little bit faster and they go a little further on a single charge. Now this unit goes, uh, the single wheels, they go between uh, 15 to 18 miles per hour. And it will last about 10 to 15 miles on a single charge depending on terrain if you're going uphill downhill if it's level terrain and uh, this unit will hold up about uh, a person up to 250 pounds of weight and the scooter itself weighs about 25 pounds so the foot pedals will fold up and you have an easy carrying handle right here that you could just take it with you now it takes around an hour and a half to two hours to fully charge this unit so some, some people are wondering, like, what's, what's the positives and negatives uh, from the single wheel to the two wheel? Well, the positives uh, over the two wheel scooter is that this thing is more practical to ride outside on the street, sidewalks, grass, and even dirt. So with the two wheel, you pretty much had to be on nice, smooth ground. And the, the wheels were smaller. And these things, this, this wheel is inflated, it's a, it's a bigger uh, wheel, so you can ride on bumpier ground and uh, not have a problem with it. Uh, th this uh, single wheel will travel further on a single charge than the two wheels will. This unit will also go five to eight miles per hour faster than the two wheels. The two wheels, they top out at about 10 miles per hour. Um, this thing's water resistant, so you can go through puddles, you could be in the rain. And the simple fact is, these are a lot more fun than the two wheels. Now the main negative, and there's pretty much only one negative, you know, besides this costing probably $50 more 
than the two wheels. The only negative, I would say, is it takes a lot longer to learn to ride this. But once you learn it, it's like anything. It's, it's, it's uh, more enjoyable and it's worth it. We've been out here about two hours and uh, if these had training wheels, it'd be, it'd be nice. You know, but since I have training wheels, you need someone to like hold onto their shoulder like I was doing and eventually you can get up on your own. It's a little hard. It's all about foot placement on this. It definitely is a lot harder to learn this, but I totally see the potential that this thing can go pretty fast and you're gonna probably have a lot of fun on this. This is my first time ever being on it. I have decent balance and uh, so about two hours, you know, you see the footage we got, uh, you know, me doing all right. I have a feeling that I try this out about three or four more times and I'll have it down pretty good and be going pretty fast. So check these out if you want to get one. Uh, if you like that two wheel, you'll like this. This is definitely a little harder, a little scarier, but more exciting once you get it. Thank you.